everyone. You may recall if you've seen my unboxing of my ink dories, I said that I would show you when I had them set up. So this is my big cocoon. So it's an A5 size and I just wanted to show you how I've got it set up at the moment. I'm absolutely loving it. It's absolutely beautiful. The I'm loving that the leather, we've got a little bit of texture here, like the wrinkles and I'm using it and I'm not scared to use it. So it's picking up some scratches already. I think I've got a bit of fountain pen ink on it here. Um, absolutely love it. And I love how thick and chunky it is. So yeah, marks. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? This pink leather against this kind of aqua elastic. So I'll put in the comments below exactly what it is that I ordered. And here is a sneak peek inside. So I've got three A5 journals within this big cocoon. So as you can see, it's fairly chunky. And that's how I wanted it. So the first one is my daily journal. This is where I'm writing all my coronavirus updates and whatever else I want to write about that day. To have a closer look through this, then check out my flip throughs for August, which should hopefully have been posted just before this video or will be posted very soon. And also into September as well. My September flip through will also cover this journal as well. I've then got my cousin in here as well. I realised that I was getting really behind. I used my Hobonichi cousin Avec as like memory keeping in terms of family memory keeping and I realised that I was getting really far behind in terms of waiting for pictures to be printed out and doing my spreads and so forth but even my daily pages I was getting really behind in it so I decided that if I put it in here I'll start to write in it more regularly and it will be easier because it's literally going to be there with my journal so uh, as you can see it's looking pretty empty which it shouldn't really be by now so I need to get on with filling that up and writing more so and then this journal here is my kind of rant journal stream of consciousness morning pages and so forth so i'm not gonna show this on camera really i'll just do a quick flick through but this basically is a journal where anything that i want to write about and get off my chest i just put in there and you know there's some things that because I show my journals on Instagram and on YouTube obviously there's certain things that maybe I won't write as freely if I write about it in this journal and so that's where the other journal comes in and it's just a moleskin which I don't like the moleskin paper because it's not very good with fountain pens and so forth but I do writing it with fountain pen sometimes and the bleed through I just literally will leave the next page I'll try and show an example so here I've written in fountain pen so the bleed through is that bad that I can't write on this page so I literally just write on one page and then leave the page behind it or I write in biro or anything a fine line of it's to hand so it's fine it's just my scribble kind of journal so it doesn't really matter what I use really so there we go so this is how I have my ink dory set up as you can see it's really really chunky it's amazing that it can fit three a5 you know large journals within it I absolutely love it so it's yeah the ink dory big cocoon from grace and salt ink and please do check out my earlier unboxing video if you want to see it in more detail and i will put more details in the comments below as well so that you can see exactly what i ordered and a link to their website and so forth
So thanks for watching. Happy journaling.